Oh, uh, don't mind me fixing up my drum. Wait, you're telling me there's an easier way to do this? Yo, what is up, guys? Here's a secret. The built-in drum synth in your Machina is pretty awesome. My name is Divin, and I've just recently discovered how awesome the Machina drum synth is. In this video, we're gonna make our own drums together and discover some of the highlights of the Machina drum synth. I've got more Machina tips and tricks videos coming up regularly, as well as beat making videos and some content on the Machina Plus. So be sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out on that. So last night, every good story starts with last night. I was still up for no reason and my brain went like, Yo, switch on that Machina of yours. Try out something new. And I was like, okay. So I remember there was this cool thing called drum synth, which I have never really like gotten into, although I've been using the Machina for many years now. So I did some drum designing and came up with this cool laid back swingy pattern. It goes like this. I think the drum synth is perfect for hip hop. And electronic music. But I can also hear it in other genres like indie music. So let's take a closer look. By the way, all of this is done on the Machina Plus. So on the standalone version of the Machina Plus with the Machina Jam connected to it so that I have like a little bit more pads to do some step sequencing in it. You'll find the drum synth in the plugin browser. So push shift and browser or just open it via this plus symbol here by pushing down the big knob, the 5D encoder. And there you go. You've got a list of possible audio sources and we can either choose the kick drum, snare drum, hi-hat, tom, percussion, cymbal, and later on also a bass synth, which is also pretty awesome. We're gonna start by opening up snare drum as snare drums have a lot of character and I usually prefer aligning my kits according to the snare drum, but that's of course only one way to do it. And I also oftentimes start with the kick drum. If you go through my videos, you'll see that. So we open up the snare drum by pushing load and what we've got here is uh, all our options to edit the sound. It sounds like this. So like a really simple snare drum, sort of resembling an 808 snare drum. On the left here, we've got our engine. It's your sound source. You can sort of think of it like as a synth engine, sort of like the sound basses that you can then later on modulate with the other parameters. We can choose from different sound sources and they'll sound very differently. So the vault is this one. Then we've got bit, pow, sharp, airy, vintage. Almost sounds like a like an acoustic drum. Chrome. Iron, clap, and breaker. So what surprised me the most was that there is such a huge selection of acoustic drum synths, because I always thought going into this that this will all be like 808 and Lin drum and DMX territory. We're gonna keep going with the vault though, because I think uh, you can learn the most from that. First up, we can change the tune. Also, of course, fun to automate that. You can change the decay. So you can go from really snappy to like super intense, more maybe fitting the chorus of your song. Sweet. Next up, we've got the gate. So that's pretty cool. Now the sample will just play with the gate off as long as it is. When I switch the gate on, it'll only play as long as I have my finger on the pad. And that's super awesome for open hi-hats, for example. But we'll get into that later. And it's of course also pretty awesome for that 80s snare sound or like for that gated, you know, 80s Phil Collins. Here you can change the tone and the color.
As you can tell, you can make some drastic changes to it compared to the original sound, which was like this. Same synthesizer, just different settings. And it also really reacts quite nicely with the velocity of the pad, so that's quite awesome. Let's head over to the kick drum. And just like with the snare drums, we've got very different engines. We've got the sub engine, which of course you can also, by increasing the de de decay time, turn to like a real 808. Play that on the keyboard. And as you can see, you can get really cool results in a very short amount of time. Let's look at some hi-hats. You'll notice that if you're used to working with samples, there is no such thing as open and closed hi-hats because you're just gonna regulate that over the decay time. So just change this one, increase it, and it's an open hi-hat, decrease it, and you've got a closed hi-hat. And what I told you as well is that you can change the gate, especially when you've got an open hi-hat. So that's really cool. I'm just gonna duplicate that over here. Make this into like a closed hi-hat. Here's another tidbit. When you go to percussion, you can choose between this thing, this thing, and a shaker. And with the shaker, you've got different modes. One is called realistic, one is called machine, and then you've got the performer. And when I just hold this pattern, it'll play a rhythm. So that's really nice, I think. You can change the tempo maybe, change it down to like 85, 86-ish. All right, let's make a quick beat with that. And there you go, that's the Machina drum synth. As you could tell, it's super easy to get some quick, awesome results. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. What's your favorite drum synth? What kind of technique do you usually use for making your drums? Let me know all that good stuff down in the comments. I really wanna know, cause I just noticed the more we talk to each other, the more inspired we get. And I think, especially in the current times, it's super important to like have that exchange, stay inspired. Also. If you made it this far in this video, drop a like down below. And don't forget, I've got more machine tips and tricks like this one coming up. Like all you need to know when using vocal tracks on Machina and also sharing my secrets about the sampler. So you definitely want to subscribe and hit that bell while you're at it. Now enjoy making your own drums. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. going to waste. This is a non-tape waste channel. I'm gonna at least... Gonna